Hi, welcome to Goatlings.com. My name is Kay Fujimi, and I'm a I'm a user here on Goatlings. Uh, I don't mean to brag, but I'm uh, pretty well known. I've been playing for a very long time, and today I thought I would show how I level up my Goatlings for battle to have a nice strong battle goat. My battle goat is Posse, and he just hit level 30 today. So to celebrate, I'm making this video. So first off, we're going to need a goat. So let's get a goat to level up today. I'm going to go adopt one. Oh, nobody's available in the rehome center. Hopefully I have enough slots for this. Let's see, we're going to have a battle tutorial goat, and he can be, they can be whatever. Alright, welcome to the world battle tutorial goat. Now, this page is where all of our goatlings are. We can get there from my stuff. The Halloween event is going on, so the servers are a little slow today. My goatlings. And when we're leveling up a goat, of course we want to make them the active goat. Battle tutorial is brand new, so he automatically defaults to our active. But just in case, there he is. Active goatling is battle tutorial. So let's dress them up. Let's see, let's go to the shop. Now, if we want to dress up our goat to look really cute, of course we go to the appearance doll shop. Ooh, who do we have here? We have lots of cute dolls, appearance dolls, that are abbreviated AD. Well, these are a little expensive. The hearts is pretty cheap, but you know what? I'm going to check out to see if we can do any crafting for our new battle goat here on goatlings.com. We scroll all the way down in the members marketplace. You can do some crafting. Zurora runs the crafting booth and she has this lovely recipe book. Let's check out what appearance dolls, or ADs, we can make with her. Usually these are limited special goatlings. Oh, look at these. We could take a goatling appearance doll and turn it into an even fancier appearance doll, or we can take special items from events and monthly battle monsters called baddies. The Toffeeling is one of my favorite ADs to craft because we can buy the Fawn Plush, the Lace Toffee, and the Pink Rose all in the shops. So if we go to the shop, it restocks every five minutes. Hmm. Well, the Fawn Plush is a toy, so that would be in the toy shop. Oh, they sell out fast. There aren't any today. Let's go back and see. Hmm. The r pink rose would make a lovely gift, so it's usually in the gift shop. Oh, there's a yellow rose, but no pinks today. And lastly, the toffee ling is in our bakery, I think. The toffee. Hmm, any toffee today? No, no toffee today. Am I sure that the toffee is in this shop? Let me check the archive. You can check the archive of any shop to make sure that the item you're looking for is in the right location. That's where it would be, the lace toffee. 
oh, I hover over it and I see that the value is 500, so that's how much it would cost to buy it. So we can't make a lace toffee ling today. So sad. But luckily I have a few appearance dolls, ADs, already in my inventory that we can use for this video. Let's see what we have in my items. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in my items. <laughs> I do already have a fawn plush. I collect them. But it's a lot to look at, so let's just look at the types. Oh, there's a doll type. So I'll click that and see what appearance dolls I have in my inventory. I should probably clean up my inventory and use my safety box. Oh, it's October and our Halloween event is going on, so I have Sweets Wish... <laughs> Sweets Witch AD. I almost said Sandwich. That would be a funny AD. And I would like to use this AD on my new battle coat. I can't undo it. Once I use this item, it's gone forever. Let's see. It has to load. Oh, I don't want to use it on my regular goat. Oh, I looked at this uh, drop down list, and there's my battle tutorial goat. Let's do it. Are you sure you want to use this item? It's a one time use and will change the appearance of your goatling. Okay, let's see. Battle Tutorial has been transformed. Battle Tutorial is now a sweet switch goat. And if I look at my new goat on my profile, the appearance has changed. Here's my active goat in the top right corner. And my new lovely goat has its own little profile. So now we want to prepare our new goat for battle. We have a whole battle system on goatlings.com and we shouldn't run straight into battle without first preparing ourselves. Let's see what kind of things we can find in the shops to help us. Well, here in the shops, oh, the battle plaza, we have battle weapons, battle pets, battle defense, remedies, and elixirs. Right now, let's just stick with a basic weapon. Wow, look at all of this stuff. You can hover over any item and see how strong the weapon is. This one's strength plus eight, strength plus six, strength plus eight. Wait a minute. This poo is only 2,000 sugar stars and it's strength eight. This air axe is 12,000 sugar stars and is also strength eight. What's the difference? Well, obviously it's the durability. The durability is how many times you get to use this weapon before it gets destroyed. That's right, weapons don't last forever on goatlings. They are temporary, they have a use limit. This poo only has one durability. I can throw it at an enemy one time and then it's gone. That's why it's cheaper. This air axe has a durability of 70. I can battle 70 monsters with this goat. Do 70 attacks and it'll still be going strong. And that's why it's more expensive. So I already have some battle items in my inventory. I'll go there now. This bumble blade is a great starter weapon. Great for newbies. 
and you can find it in the shops. It has a strength plus 5 and a durability of 10, so I can use this blade 10 times. I'm going to equip it, and I'm going to choose my goat. Battle Tutorial is my active goat, so it'll come up at the top of the list every time. I would like to equip that. Hooray! Now that we are equipped, let's battle. Oh my, the battle center. It has some links. Hmm. Well, here's my battle. I'm not in a battle yet. Here's our goatlings, our pets. We can check on their status. The training center or the battle center. The battle center has new goats, or I'm sorry, new baddies to fight every month. This month is October, so we have the Scarecrow and his minions. I've already done some battling. I've battled this Scarecrow 117 times. Plus, we had a draw once. Every year, we also have a unique baddie. 2020 was the year of the rat, so we had the Moonlit Rogue. I've battled this baddie a lot. I don't think our brand new baby goat is quite ready to battle these strong baddies yet because I've already done some fighting with them and they have a lot of HP, a lot of hit points. So maybe let's start with some training. Training center is great. This first monster is called an Apostrophe. He's great for level 1 to 10 goats. Once we get stronger, we can do an 11 to 20. And finally, a level 21 to 30. There are even more training baddies to unlock. But it'll take a while to get there. Even I'm not that far yet. So here we are in the training center, let's start with the apostrophe. Start at the top. And we are gonna start the battle. Oh, what's this? Your goatling is too unhappy to battle. Improve its mood by giving it a toy to play with from your inventory. I didn't think of that. Hmm. Let's check on Battle Tutorial. Oh, yep, there it is. Its hunger is 3 out of 100, and its mood is 0 out of 100. Every time we battle with a goat, it will lose 1 hunger point and 1 mood point. So after 100 battles, we're going to have to play with them and feed them. Let's see what we have to make our goatling happy enough to battle. First I'll click on food. Mmm, I have lots of good food to feed my brand new battle tutorial goatling. Corn is my favorite item. I collect it. Ah, hunger plus 30. It'll give us 30 hunger points. That's great. I will feed battle tutorial. Oh, Battle Tutorial ate the item. Their hunger increased by 30 points. Excellent. Let's go back to our inventory. Now we need to play with our goatling. We did just adopt it after all. It doesn't know us very well yet. These are all my toys. Hmm, well it looks like a fun toy. How about my lovely horse four? All of these toys can be found at the toy shop in the shopping district. That's going to give us plus 70 mood points. Play with pet. Play with battle tutorial. Oh, battle tutorial says this is lots of fun. Let's play again. Wonderful. Let's check on battle tutorial stats now. Level 1, no experience, only 10 HP. One strength, one defense, one intelligence, and one speed. Hunger is 
33 out of 100. Mood is 70. So we can do 33 battles before we have to feed our goatling again. But we should still have some happiness mood left over. So we shouldn't have to play with our pet again for a little while. Let's go tackle that baddie now, for real this time. Oh, we're on the wrong goat. We have to click and make sure we're on the right goatling. There we go, that's the goatling I want to use. Start battle. <gasps> this is the battle page. We are fighting an apostrophe. We can use a basic pet move that will use our strength stat, but since we're only level one, we only have one strength. This apostrophe has 30 HP. We would have to attack it 30 times with our one strength in order to defeat it. So let's use the weapon we equipped, which is gonna give us a plus five. Let's see what happens. I've clicked it, and look at that, we did Four damage. That's pretty good for a level one goat. We'll click it again. Hmm. I wonder what happened. Down below we see the battle attack log. If we want to look and see exactly how our battle is going, we have all the information right down here from the past few turns. What happens if we just use a basic attack? We've been doing four damage with our Bumble Blade. A regular basic attack without using any weapons. Oh no. Just as predicted, it only did one damage. So it definitely helps to have a weapon equipped to give us that extra strength. And now we're just gonna keep using our Bumble Blade until we win the battle. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be real close. Ah, oh, we did it. With one HP to spare, we've won the battle. The battle is over, so we click to finalize the battle and claim our reward. We won the battle, and with 100 experience, our goatling has leveled up. Awesome. I don't think we want to battle again. We could click this button to do another battle, but our health is kind of low, so let's see what we can do about that. Let's go to the shop. We need to heal 10 HP. 10 hit points. Well, 9 hit points, really. Look at all of these medicines we can buy in the shops. Vitamin B is great for new users. It only heals 5 health. That's really all our goat needs right now. So I'm gonna click the item. It takes a little while for the page to load, that's okay. And let's buy it. I will pay the full price of 40 sugar stars. Okay, we bought the item. Let's go back to the shop just to take a look around. Wow, look at all of these elixirs. Health plus 300. Health plus 200. Health plus 25. You definitely need to hover over all of these items to see how much you're healing your goat. So let's go to our inventory. My items. And let's use our new item. What was it called? Vitamin B? Uh, I have too much stuff, I can't find it. That's okay, we have a tab for that. The health potion tab. And there it is. Click it, it will heal health plus five. Let's choose from the drop down menu what to do with it. We're going to heal our goatling. Use. Now we want to heal our active goatling battle tutorial. Battle tutorial has had their HP healed by five HP. 
let's check her. You can see in the HP, they leveled up. So we now have 15 HP from our level up, not just 10. I forgot about that. 5 HP for every level up. And we still have a little bit to go. We're not quite full health yet. What should we do? Well, let's say we don't have any sugar stars to buy any more health items. Or we only have a few sugar stars. Or maybe the shop is sold out of the healing items you want to use. Let's check out the town map. If you look on the town map, we have this beautiful fountain in the center of town. Oh, we have the adoption where we picked up our battle goatling. Clubhouses to talk with other members. Wow, look at all these shops and our battle center. But let's look at this beautiful fountain. This fountain isn't just for decoration. This magic fountain will heal all of our goatlings for only 1,000 sugar stars. So if we have a lot of goatlings that we use to battle, and they've all been battling, and oh, they all have very low HP, we could buy a lot of healing items from the shop, but that might get a little expensive. Let's just use 1,000 sugar stars and heal everybody all at once. That's what I'm gonna do. You have healed all your pets. Let's check out our pets. My stuff. My goatlings. Here's battle tutorial and their HP is back up to 15 for a level two goat where it should be. Let's see what we have down here. We have our goat's name, the description for their profile, any treasure or goodies we want to give them. And here at the bottom we have manage their battle equips. That's their equipment and weapons that they have. Let's check it out. There's their bumble blade. Now remember the durability of our weapons. We only have two uses left on this blade. Uh, but the last time we fought that apostrophe, it took us, well, eight or nine turns to defeat it. So I know if I get into a battle, we're not going to have enough durability left for this weapon. So let's go ahead, go back to our inventory. Let's click on those battle attack items and equip some more weapons. We have another bumble blade. We can equip it. We can equip up to eight weapons on a goatling at any time. Once it's equipped, once we start using the weapon, we cannot take it off the goatling because it doesn't have its full durability. So once we use it, it's lost. Use it or lose it. We've equipped that to our pet. What happens if we equip something a little stronger to our pet? Hmm, let's see what kind of weapons we have. A ruby wand, I know that that does five damage. Cutie rod does six. This candy cane sword does seven strength. This hero sword does eight strength. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and equip it. It's another weapon that can be found in the shops, in the battle equipped shop. <coughs> plus eight strength plus 50 durability. We'll be able to use this sword 50 times. And you can click any item just to look at its description and see if it's a toy, if it's food, if it's a weapon, what it's gonna give or do to our goatling. 
We don't even have to do anything. We could do nothing. I decide to do nothing. There we go. I did nothing with this sword. <laughs> but this time, let's really equip it to battle tutorial. The item was equipped to our pet. We have a nice strong sword now. So let's go back and do another battle. Go to the training center. We've only uh, fought this apostrophe with Battle Goatling one time. Let's make sure we have the right goat on our list. Let's begin. Hmm, let's see. We have some choices now. We're a little stronger. We're level two. So we could use a basic pet move. And that should do about two damage, I guess. Nothing great. Our apostrophe, because we're in the training center, was will still have 30 HP every time we battle it. So we, we're prepared. We know what to expect. We could use our Bumble Blade, which we know did four damage last time. We're a little stronger, so it might be a little more. But let's go ahead and see what this plus eight sword does. Oh my goodness, what a difference. 15 damage. That apostrophe lost half of its health in that attack with that stronger sword. Compared to this Bumble Blade, let's try the Bumble Blade. That did good damage because we're stronger, but it didn't do as much. It did nine damage, we can see here below in the details. So if our Bumble Blade did nine damage, and the Hero Sword did 15 damage. Now, this apostrophe only has six hit points left. We don't need to waste this Hero Sword. We don't need to do 15 whole damage because we know our Bumble Blade is going to do nine damage. Nine is bigger than six, that's basic math. And that's what the battle system for Goatlings.com is all about. So I think we're safe using our Bumble Blade. And we've done it. We've defeated the Apostrophe Training Baddie once again. The battle is over. I'll click and claim my reward. We've won the battle, and with another 100 experience, our Goatling has leveled up again. So our Goat should be level 3. Let me look at my health. We have 12 out of 15 health. We only lost 3 HP in that battle. 3 out of 15, so I don't think we need to heal our Goatling. I think that our Goatling is stronger now. Our Goatling is level 3. We're going to have more HP, and we have some strong weapons. I think we can battle again without needing to heal. So that's what we're going to do. Our other Bumble Blade is gone. It used up all of its durability. We used it twice in the last battle. So we have our new Bumble Blade that we equipped with 10. Or we have our Hero Sword, which now has 49 uses left. We're level 3, so let's see what our regular pet move will do by itself. Hmm, we did 2 damage. So from this we can tell that whatever your pet's level is, minus one, is how much damage we can do with a basic attack. Two damage. That's not enough to kill this apostrophe. So let's use our super strong hero sword. Whoa. Took out a lot of health, 23 damage. That's a lot, considering this apostrophe only has 30. Now, I'm pretty sure we could use our Bumble Blade, because our Bumble Blade did 9 last time? Yeah, it did 9. Uh, the apostrophe only had 6 HP last time, so I'm pretty sure this Bumble Blade can take out this apostrophe with 5. There we go, we've won the battle again, and with 14 HP to spare. Our Goatling is just starting out in battle, so look, with another 100 experience, we've gained another level.
let's keep going. I think if we keep fighting this apostrophe a few more times, we just might get to level 10. Let's see, our goatling earned another 100 experience, so now it should be level five. We're gonna keep using our super strong hero sword. That takes out the apostrophe in one hit now because we're so much stronger with our levels. 39 damage, wow. This apostrophe doesn't stand a chance. Hmm, our goatling gained a hundred experience, but it didn't level up this time. Let's see, let's check on our goatling. Clicking our active goatling link at the top of the page. Hmm, ah, I see. Experience, battle tutorial goatling has 195 out of 252 experience. That means 252 minus 195, we need 47 more experience? Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh no, we need 50, 57, 57 more experience. <laughs> My apologies, I can't subtract. Ah, you really have to know how to do basic math in order to uh, make the most out of your battle goatling. I mean, you don't really have to, but if you want to be sure that you know when your goatling is going to level up, you're going to have to look at the experience. Well, while we're here, look, our goatling has five strength, five defense. It still has only one intelligence and one speed. We don't get those stats from leveling up. These stats come from special items. Intelligence comes from books, and speed comes from coffee. The coffee shop hasn't been released on the website yet, but soon we'll be able to level up our goatling's speed. That'll make it be able to avoid attacks and not even get hit at all. That'll be exciting once that's finally implemented on the site. But for now, let's go back and battle. I'm going to go to that training center. I'm going to make sure I'm choosing the right goatling for the job. And I'm going to continue battling. I know that our goatling only needs 70, no, 50, 67 <laughs> experience till the next level. And there it is, 100 experience for defeating our apostrophe and our goat levels up to level six. I wonder how our bumble blade would do. We've been using our strong sword. Oh, look, we've been leveling up and gaining strength and we have our plus five bumble blade. We were able to do 29 damage even though this weapon is weaker. Hmm, one hit. We could use a bumble blade, but I think we can use a basic attack, a basic pet attack. All right, there's a lot, of, lot to think about. Strong weapons, weak weapons, basic attacks, making sure you check your level and your health and the health of your enemy. This is how the battle system works. And it can be a lot of fun. There's a lot of room to customize your battle experience. You can have different weapons, and all your stats will be different when you level up. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, you know what though? I'm kind of getting tired of this sword. What else do we have that we can use to battle with? Hmm, battle pets. Oh, they're so cute. Look at all of these little animals. There's a fire rooster chick, a pointling elephant, Griff's owl. They're so cute. And if we hover over them, we can see that these battle pets have strength and stamina stats. 
Now strength is like our weapons, and stamina is like a weapon's durability. That's how much these pets can battle for us. That's right, temporarily hire a battle pet alongside your goatling. They're great companions. I think we should hire a battle pet. Um, oh, what's a good pet? Let's see. Wow, this barn owl has plus six strength and 60 stamina. I think I'm gonna buy one of these. I'll put in my sugar stars, make sure I have enough. All right, congratulations, we've purchased our owl. Let's go to our items. There he is at the top of the page, but just in case he wasn't at the top of the page, we can always find him in the battle attack tab. Battle pets have the abbreviation BP at the end of them because they're battle pets, as opposed to weapons that just have the name of the weapon, like the bumble blade or the candy cane sword. I have a cotton candy bat BP, a cupcake BP, moon dog BP, and rose fairy BP. But let's go ahead and equip this barn owl that we bought. Battle tutorial. All right, we've equipped the pet. If we check battle tutorial and manage their battle equips, we can see all of our weapons available. A bumble blade, a hero sword, and a barn owl. We can equip all sorts of battle weapons and pets to help us fight baddies. Now let's see, we've done the training center. Let's check out the battle center. I've already done some battling. Let's see, 2020, year of the rat. We're in October now, and this moonlit rogue has been in the battle center all year. I've already fought this little mouse 163 times. Look at how many hit points it has, 336. Now, of course, you know what we have to do, right? We've won so many battles, now we have to see what happens when we lose a battle. Let's start. Oh boy, let's see, with 22 HP, let's try our new barn owl. Oh no, that did not do very much damage. 34 damage? That would have been enough to take out the apostrophe. But we have fought this moonlit rogue in the battle, in the uh, battle arena, battle. <laughs> I already forgot the name of it, the battle arena. So many times, and every time we battle it, here are the health, the HP of the baddie goes up every time. So no matter how many times ooh, we fight this mouse, it might not be enough. Ooh, let's see. Oh, I used my bumble blade all up. <laughs> I used it ten times, now it's gone. Actually, we might be able to beat this rogue. Well, would you look at that? I think using our barn owl, <laughs> we actually managed to beat the moonlit rogue. I wasn't expecting that. I did not think battle tutorial had it in it. With s level six, only 35 health, we've managed to beat the moonlit rogue with our super strong plus six strength barn owl battle pet. Thanks barn owl, I'm so glad we hired you. The battle is over, and so let's claim our rewards. Ooh, we got experience, but we're not in the training center anymore. Oh no, we're not just training for experience. 
We're here to get some benefit. So the baddie dropped an item for us. Lily hairpins and 558 sugar stars. Now this is battling. Let's go ahead and battle again. And this time, I'm just gonna use a basic pet move to show you what happens when we run out of health. One HP left. Oh no, the battle is over. Click here to finalize and claim rewards. We lost the battle. What happens if we try to battle again? Our goatling is out of hit points. Heal it with some potions from the Remedy and Elixir shop, or visit the Fountain of Health in Palace Town. I think we should visit that Fountain of Health. So I'll click the town map, go to the fountain, and heal my goats. Now Battle Tutorial has all 35 of their HP back. So, we've done some battling. Uh, it's not too hard. It's pretty easy to win if you're smart and plan ahead. If you equip your goatling with some nice strong weapons. And you make sure to keep an eye on your health and the health of the baddie you're fighting. Then we should be able to win every time without losing, without lowering our HP down to zero. Battle Center, not the Battle Arena, it's called the Battle Center, of course it is. And that's how we fight on Goatlings.com in our battle system. I hope this little tutorial has been fun for you. Hope you got the basics. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you online on Goatlings.com. Okay, thanks, bye!